Hello and welcome to this latest video in our series where we're looking at the cars of Gran Turismo 7 in virtual reality against the real thing. I'm Andrew Evans, the editor of GT Planet, and this is the Genesis G70. You'd be forgiven for not knowing that much about the Genesis brand. It's a relatively new name and effectively does for Hyundai what Lexus did for Toyota 25 years ago. Of course Gran Turismo fans should be more familiar with the brand, as not only is it a partner of the Gran Turismo World Series, and therefore an automatic qualifier for the finals, but it also produced an impressive Vision Gran Turismo vehicle for the game back in December 2023. This G70 represents the starting point of the Genesis range as a D-segment executive sedan going up against cars like the BMW 3 Series and the Mercedes C-Class. Just about the only difference between the car you see in-game here and the real world one is in one place that you can't look in Gran Turismo 7, under the hood. It's another one of those market differences. The car in the game has the 3.3 litre Lambda 2 V6 engine that you will also find in the Kia Stinger and the Genesis Vision Gran Turismo, but the UK market doesn't get this power plant for this car. In fact, our car has the 2 litre Turbo Theta, which is about 100 horsepower less, and it's also exclusively rear wheel drive rather than the all wheel drive car in the game. Otherwise, from the matte silver paint right down to those excellent dark sputtering sea wheels, it's pretty much a one-to-one -one match. As you can see from both the in-game shots and the real thing though, the interior of the G70 is a fantastic place to be, with quilted leather and diamond milled switch gear. We did about 800 miles in this car over three days and it was a treat. So, that's it from me. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video and this look at the Gran Turismo 7 version of the Genesis G70 versus the real thing. And you'll join us for another video in the future.